Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to integrate load balancing to your Spring AVC application. Let's get started. First, we are going to create a service registry which is going to keep track of all our services. For that, let's open up a browser and go to start.spring.io. For group name, I'm gonna give com.linus and artifact name discovery server. We are going to use Gradle project, Java, and Spring Boot version 1.5.13. And for dependency, we are just going to use Eureka server. That's a generic project. Go to our terminal, go to the download directory, unzip discovery server, cd into discovery server, and open it with code. I'm using code, but you can use any code editor of your choosing on the coding side we're not gonna do much just add one annotation enable Eureka server and for the application properties you're just gonna add the following so application name you can give any application name Port. we're running it on port 8761 and the following two properties says not to register this application as consumable service by the service registry server okay now go to the terminal and run gradle w boot run now keep in mind for you it may take some time because first you have to download some dependencies okay we are having some error oh we don't have uh, the import added so let's add the import and run again so it's running let's open up the browser and go to localhost port 8761 so here is our discovery server all our uh, services are going to be listed over here now let's create a consumable service and register it with our service registry on which we are going to implement load balancing for that let's again go to start.spring.io give an artifact name let's name it order service we are not going to take any order or anything like that rather we will add one endpoint with hello uh, endpoint to demonstrate the service for dependency we are going to use uh, discovery client uh, Eureka discovery and web generate the project open the terminal go to your new tab uh, cd dot dot cd uh, not cd unzip order service cd into order service and open it and code as well so here on coding side we are not going to do much either just add enable discovery client and as i mentioned before just one endpoint hello uh, this is just going to return hello one in this case then add necessary imports save it go to our application properties add the following uh, properties so here the service name order service and i want to run it on port 8001 and make sure to uh, keep this url correct so we are running our uh, discovery server uh, service on the localhost port 8761 slash eureka so make sure you do it correctly and after that save it go to your terminal and again run uh, Gradle W dot slash Gradle W put run. On the browser, open a new tab and go to localhost port eight zero zero one slash hello and we see our desired output also in our discovery server if we refresh we should uh, see our uh, order service registered in our appropriate link 
Now to show how load balancing works, we need to have multiple order services, but we don't have multiple server. So to simulate that multiple server, we are going to run our order services in multiple port. So let's do that. For doing that, let's open up our application on the editor and just port change the port to 8002 and return hello to similarly let's open up a new window a uh, new tab and run create w boot run do this one more time Hello 3 and run it on port 8003. Open a new tab and run create W boot run. Great, we have three application running. port 3 it's running on port 2 it's running and on the discovery server it's showing properly as well one two three now let's create a client who is going to communicate with our server for that let's go to start or spring.io again and give our uh, order <coughs> artifact name uh, maybe web client And we are going to use two more dependency over here. One is Fain and another is Zool. Uh, everything else stays the same. Let's generate the project. Open new tab, CD into downloads and unzip web client, CD into web client. Open code over here. Let's uh, add the application properties first. Here, application name uh, to identify it uh, by this name on the discovery server. We want to run it on port 9999 and our Eureka discovery server URL. Make sure to write it correctly. And on the Java part, first uh, let's add the imports and then add the annotations. So you're gonna use three annotations. Fain is used to name uh, based service calling and Zool is used to proxy our request from client to server. Now let's see how Fain works. So instead of using uh, REST template, we are going to use this order service uh, which is annotated as Fain client and we are going to call our order service uh, this one order service over here with its name uh, and this name is mentioned on the application properties over here that's why that name is over there and we are requesting the hello endpoint of that application and returning a string as it's returning over here now let's add our client rest controller which is going to use this order service and call this hello endpoint so this is our client uh, endpoint a rest controller where we have only one endpoint here as well hello which is calling uh, the order services hello endpoint with this order service method we are not injecting it, uh, I mean auto wiring it, we are using constructor injection. And that's all we need to do over here. Now for load balancing, Ribbon is used, uh, which works internally. Uh, now let's see it ac in action. Uh, open up your browser and go to localhost port 9999 slash client, because we used it over here. Client, hello. So 
sorry first we need to run the application first to run it go to the web client and run grillw boot run now refresh and we get our result now as you can see when I refresh we get sometime hello 1 sometime hello 2 sometime hello 3 and so on the reason why it is happening is because client is checking via our service registry which service is free and based on that client is getting the result from a free service this is uh, called client side load balancing when service 1 is busy it's getting result from service 2 in case in this case or our order service that's running our port 8002 and vice versa and this is how uh, client load balancing works without a lot of configuration and that's it that's all I wanted to show you in this video I hope you liked it if you have any question feel free to ask in the comment below code for this will be available on github and link will be given in the video description that's all thank you bye bye